friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something I'm not all that excited to do. I am going to a crowded Walmart. When all the Easter stuff was out, they had these adorable Marvel Easter baskets and I did pick up an Iron Man one, but they also had a Spider-Man one I really wanted, but they had a lot of them. So I figured I could wait until after Easter and get it for cheaper. Well, it is after Easter. And so now I'm going to attempt to find this discounted Spider-Man Easter basket. And I just figured like while I'm here anyway, why not check out some of the new toys? Maybe they have new end game stuff. Do they still have Game of Thrones Oreos? I don't know. We just thought since I'm here anyway, I would take you guys with me and we would shop for some fandom goodies. So let's go. super slim pickings in the Avengers section. It's mostly just these Nerf um, assembler gear things and not much else. But there are new toys for Toy Story 4 out that look very cute and exciting. How hilarious with wacky action. Oh, so he moves. That looks pretty awesome. Duke Kaboom. No idea who this guy's gonna be. Bo Peep in her new outfit. There's another Avengers display, but it's just full of Pokemon stuff, so what a bust. I did see a pretty cool Captain Marvel shirt online. I'm hoping it is here today. While I did find the Easter basket I want, Walmart is failing me a little bit right now. This exists? <gasps> the Game of Thrones game in my cart. Not because I'm gonna buy it today, although I really, really, really want to, but I couldn't find it on a display anywhere and I just, I'm curious to know how much it costs. So we're gonna price check this bitch. And she's $30. Want, so much want. It might seem a little strange, but one of my favorite places to shop for fandom stuff is actually in the party section, like the kids' birthday party section. You find some good stuff. You can buy a Hogwarts pinata for $13. That's all I'm saying. They also have these fandom bandanas up here. There's Harry Potter, Batman, Disney. This Marauder's Map one is really cute. I might have to bring this home for Chad. He always wears bandanas to work. This Hogwarts crest one is pretty stinking cute too. I'm in the men's section, seeing if I can find some good fandom t-shirts. And hopefully that Captain Marvel one I'm looking for. Chad actually brought this Captain Marvel one home to me the other day and I love it so much. It's so comfortable and I like the little freckly material. It's awesome. 10 out of 10, would recommend. They didn't have my t-shirt and they don't have any more Game of Thrones Oreos. You're killing me, Smalls. Let's see any exciting Funkos. It's really funny right now. Here <laughs> this has seen better days, TK. but this is right pretty now, awesome. Is uh, if you guys didn't know, There's some Baku back here. Ooh, they have a Ronin. This is a Walmart exclusive. <laughs> I haven't seen this one yet. Captain Marvel, Black Panther. Here's a Thanos for the Avengers. Hulk in the new suit. I love him so much. War Machine, some cute minis. Danny and John, Captain Marvel. Oh my gosh, these pillows are so squishy. 
I'm kind of in love with these. Let's see, they have this design, Black Panther, Groot, and a Spider-Man one back here. These are awesome for $12. Looks like this rocket is another Walmart exclusive. That is really tempting, but I don't collect male characters. Let's see if they've got any of the ladies. We've got Nebula back here. No sign of Black Widow yet. This Thor one with Stormbreaker rules so hard. They do have a ton of fandom fabric on sale right now. I might have to take advantage of some of this. All finished up, didn't find everything I wanted to find, so I'm still on the hunt for more Game of Thrones Oreos. I mean, like, if they come across my way, I'm gonna buy them. I do already have a pack, and I have one to open and one to not open. I don't know, I kind of wish I'd still had another one. I did get my Spider-Man Easter basket. This is actually the last one they had, and it was hidden. Someone had put it on the top shelf and pushed it, like, way back. And it's funny, last time I was there, they had a million Spider-Man ones and one Iron Man. And so I got the Iron Man, and I'm like, I'll come back for Spider-Man. But it was switched this time. They had so many Iron Man ones, so if you're on the lookout for those, go to Walmart. They're very cute. But this one was definitely an adventure to get. With my ankle, I'm not physically capable of, like, just hopping a shelf. Well, I mean, I maybe could, but I'm not going to try that. So I took one of, like, the tubes of candy, and I just kind of, like fished it out from the back. There were taller people all around me and no one offered to help. Everyone just kind of watched me struggle. Welcome to Walmart. So I got this Spider-Man thing and I did get, because I am weak, um, a bag of Cadbury mini eggs. These are my favorite. Easter candy is my favorite. It is the best. These were half off. Two things at Easter soap that's half off too, but you guys don't care about that. And then I got this Marauder's Map bandana for Chad to wear to work. All of this came to about $7. I'm not mad at it, but I do wish this would have been a more successful trip. I am really, really, really lusting over that Game of Thrones Monopoly though. Just throwing that out there, that thing looks amazing. So if I ever do get my hands on it, let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see a video of it. That's gonna do it for today. Thanks for shopping with me guys. That made it a lot more interesting. Also let me know in the comments if you like videos like this, just kind of shopping around for fandom goodies. If there's anywhere you would like me to go searching for fandom goodies. I love to shop. I love the nerd stuff. So I will happily make more videos if you want them. With that being said, I am off. Thank you guys so so much for watching hit subscribe if you would like to keep hanging out and i will see you in another video very soon bye, -bye.